Hey everybody, Carbazos with you. Welcome. It's time to do the Illusions One Box number twenty-seven. Right now, if you would uh, come in this direction. Five will be our random number. Do divisions first. Una, dose, three, four, money shot. AFC South on top, and FC South on bottom. It's South 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 sandwich. South by South sandwich. And five times for names. And here are your divisions. Did you know that someone actually complained about about my language the uh, last week? This guy said he came on with his daughter, and I was being uh, like you know <clears throat> rude and gross and whatnot, and that he wouldn't he wasn't going to come back on weekends until Jesse was back. I offended somebody more than Jesse. Now I I vaguely recall what you know what we were talking about, and he has every right to be like agitated with it. You know I'm not I'm not uh, questioning the fact that he you know had rights to be agitated about it. That I do not dispute in any fashion. The only thing that, like that drives me a little bit insane is like Jesse is like after dark at like nine in the morning. Well, see, I mean, I don't mind seeing it in the chat, but like, I, I in general try and keep the keep the curse words down personally because I know there's like, you know, like kids watching stuff. So like, I, I'm trying not to drop, you know, like f bombs all over the place. I do occasionally. I mean, I, I mean, I, I feel like rarely. Karrion Johnson uh, unnumbered. Okay. Hey, Robert Smith. 11 out of 40 going to the Vikings. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it at the end. I'll do it at the end. The always lovely NFC Norte. Uh, Melvin Ingram to 299. AJ Brown to 299. Irv Smith autograph for more Vikings. More Vikings, Jamie. Well, listen, I mean, Vikings have been very solid through about all of this, you know, all, all of this year. So it's not it's not surprising. Kyler Murray to three ninety nine. The uh, Mike Evans is just clear and unnumbered and not important. McCaffrey swatch for the Panthers. Stefan Diggs at 
to uh, 25 of Cortland Sutton. Stidham swatched for the Patriots. Did you want three ninety nine? James Conner to two ninety nine. Mahomes to one forty nine. Falls to two ninety nine. Jordan, how you doing? And a redemption for Tony Pollard. Rookie endorsement is blue. I do believe Pollard is Cowboys. I think he's Cowboys. So we had uh, NFC North. And the uh, NFC East. So then let's get you and you and you and you and you and you. Stick with the same five times, top spot gets one in the next one. One, two, three, four. Money shot five times, going to Bradley. Okay, so I gotta get some of those other things in the store. Okay, but for now, let's Get this cleaned up. And then Third card out. A Khalil Mack card is what you're looking for. No name on it. Is that is that a variation or just a uh, a straight mistake? Sharp eyes as always, J Mass. Sharp eyes as always. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, I'm yeah, I mean, back of it's not. I think it's, I think it's just a printing error. I think a, a printing error. More than anything, I've had to guess. Well, it'll go out. I'll send it out to the Bears. I'll make sure it goes out to the two the Bears. Get a box. Stay on the lookout. Looking at 
next-gen rear camera mirror tech. Whether you're home or away, T-Mobile is with you. I don't like them very much. I know they don't like us very much. People were having this close today, so he was right there. I think people were Okay. Burrows changed that with the Heisman candidate. How about 22 times? Oh. All right, Becker, how are you doing today? Uh, pulled some very, I mean, some some nice stuff out of Colts, quad auto of uh, Manning, Manning, Reggie Wayne, what was it, Dallas Clark, and uh, what's that D's name? The running back. I mean, if they're tell if they're saying that they like us, they're lying. And anybody that says that this isn't a rivalry, they're lying. There's bad blood between us, going back to, to Tebow's days and even before that. So it's a big game for us. Yeah, J yeah, James, Edron James. Yeah, yeah, sorry. All right. Well, you want to try this uh, last uh, illusions fast since we're. Since we're here and down to five, just get just get rid of it. My number one worry when I when I was deciding where I was going to come, and they kind of eased my worries on that. They explained to me where they wanted to go, and you know I saw the vision that they had and where they wanted to take this thing. Let's just let's just get this out of the way. There's a lot more to Joe Burrow than quarterback. Let's do let's do that. Let's just get it get it out get it out of the way. So I'm gonna take it out the stout the stow. How often do you watch cartoons? Yeah. Sunday. Sunday I'll, I'll watch about one NFL game and then I'll turn on cartoons for the night while I'm doing my homework. Why? I don't know. Just, you just love it. Love it. Okay. Okay. He likes Looney Tunes. I love hearing that. National champ Trevor Maddich is joining us here. So that Tigers offense, they're averaging 55 points per game. The Gators defense, they've given up a total of 57 points all season. Right, illusions 10, 5 left. Let me just Devin take that out of the store. This Florida defense first will mess with your head. Then they hit you in the mouth. Now Auburn thinks they've got it. All set up for a big play. They run what has all the trappings of a bubble screen. All the reads, all the blocks, but it's a trick. And it should be a touchdown. So let's run it back and see what actually happens. Most of the defense is going to jump on the fake bubble screen, but not right. safety Sean Davis. He's not having it. He lurks in the weeds just in case they run a deception just like this. So instead of a big play for Auburn, it turns into a big play for Florida. It also turns out that Davis lurks in the okay, weeds. Okay, so I got four He's left since I technically got Aussie Jim in for one. But he comes anyway. 44 per Ronnie down for one. Ronnie down for another one, and Android in for one. No, Aussie Jim, I already I, I put you in for one, so I got Aussie Jim in for one, Ronnie in for two, and Android in for one. That's and then I need one more. I need one more. And unless, unless Aussie Jim wants a second one, but I, I need I, technically I think I need one more. I got Aussie Jim, I got Ronnie in for two, I got Android in for one. Like a visual quality, like the heat waves that rise at the top of a hot plane. It affects not just your hearing, it affects other senses. It's just an otherworldly kind of noise, and it will absolutely affect Florida's communication. Yeah. In a month. That offensive line and Kyle Trask and how he handles the pressure. Trevor's going to be back later in the show to talk about the Red River Showdown. 
ice back to the NFL we go. Christian McCaffrey, Carolina Panthers is speaking good news about the running back today. He was able to fully participate in practice. The sore back kept him on the sidelines for Wednesday. All right, we are full. Better now for Sunday's divisional showdown with the Buccaneers in London. His 866 yards from scrimmage this season. Second most we are full. NFL history. Here is McCaffrey today. It's crazy. I, I'm back a little yeah. Sore. It absolutely does. I mean, this is a this is a full a full case. If anybody needs that, so that's going to take. The jackpot five fifty. Yep, Narwhal will do it. Uh, Android. Let me get the list together. I mean, listen, we're just let's just let's just put these things up, knock them down, put them up, knock them down, put them up, knock them down. To where like I don't where I I don't even come into work tomorrow. I I just I focus on focus on my health tomorrow. Seems the Rams are listing Todd Gurley as doubtful for Sunday, which means it's doubtful he's going to play. He's been dealing with that quad injury that prevented him from practicing on Wednesday and Thursday. And if, in fact, Gurley can't play, which certainly okay. seems like it be the case, that would be Malcolm Brown and Daryl Henderson, the rookie third-round draft pick for the Rams in a game they have to have against the 49ers. Let's go to the Chiefs and why not Tyreek Hill returning to practice last week, Adam, what's the status Sunday against the Texans? He's been back at practice for a couple of weeks, now, and the signs... I mean, I don't... I mean, clearly authentic. 14. I mean, the Mets are still there. The Red Sox... I mean, it's not It's not going to be a terrible filler. And, I mean, it's, and some nice stuff has come out of it. Oh, I'm a dumbass. I didn't see that there. Yeah, okay, so that's gone. And that's gone. It's the Jacksonville no. Jaguars. He obviously hurt the ankle during practice this week on Thursday when he first surfaced. No, they were both listed as number 10, and I've only got one more. So that is uh, on me. Kirk Cousins rebounded last weekend against the Giants, but it's hard to ignore his struggles against quality teams. During his time with the Vikings, Cousins has one win in 10 games against teams with a winning record. In his career, he's 9-21-1 against winning teams. Next up, the three yeah, this is 2019. Yeah, no, I think I think that I thought that Jesse didn't have number 10 up, and I just like my my eyes just glanced by it, so then I threw I put it up myself. But I am almost positive that we are. Right, yeah, I mean, I still I got five, five that I'm supposed to have here. I think, yeah, I was I was working off the right the right one. I just didn't see that. It's on me. The way guys really feel about these things, you know, football is such a situation now where particularly head coaches and the position coach, everybody's trying to suppress everybody. They think this is fun. This is a natural order of things. But keep in mind, even Kirk Cousins says he plays better when there's a personal challenge when he's ticked off. He means that in general... I have five singles left. Yes, Billy. I got five I got five Lucy's. Five Lucy's. I think what makes this a little bit sexier is that they were teammates together. I'll get him in the store. Personals of the Illusions. Yeah, I mean, 
If somebody want out, one sixty, whatever. I don't. Okay. Okay. 